everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. I'm going to make salad dressing to go with our salads. So here I have the lettuce and it's all set and ready to go. We'll just drop these in the bowls like this and set them aside. To make my ranch salad dressing, I'm using a lot of ingredients. If you want to make it simple, if you just use mayonnaise and sour cream, you can throw some salt and pepper in there, and, and that would pretty much taste like ranch. But I'm going to go overboard and go ahead and, and go with a lot of ingredients here. So what I have is mayonnaise, and I'm going to go ahead and use a brand new mayonnaise. I normally buy the smaller bottles and find that they work pretty well for a recipe. And then that way I don't have to keep mayonnaise around for a long time, I'll just use that small bottle to do a recipe. But for some reason I ended up with a big bottle here this time, and I keep it in the refrigerator to keep it cold. Then I need some sour cream. I'm just going to give this a stir. This was sitting in the refrigerator for a week. Just get a great big heaping spoonful of that. Then I need some milk. I need about three quarters of a cup of milk. And you can just throw a splash in and then see what it looks like. If it's too thick, put some more in. If it's too thin, you'd have to put in some more mayonnaise. Now, for ingredients, just simple ingredients. Black pepper. I don't want a real lot. Salt. This is bacon bits. I had this in my lineup of ingredients. I'm just going to sprinkle some of those in on the salad. They, they're real good. I use them in different recipes. This is dill seed. Remember, dill seed is strong, so kind of watch your shake on this. You can always add more later, my mom would say. Parsley. So I'm in a palm of your hand. Garlic powder. Just a little bit of garlic powder. Like that. Because I also have the roasted garlic. Then I have chives. The chives, what I like to do is to get a handful of them in the palm of my hand, just like this. And then I just rub my hand together, which warms them up, activates them. Of course, it makes a mess all over the counter, but that's okay. That's what waste baskets are for, so no big deal. Then I'm just going to give the stuff a little bit of a stir here. Get the spoon out of here. And grab a whisk. And you can use a mixing bowl, you can use a small blender. If you have the hand emulsifier, you could use that. I have the bullet, I could use the bullet and put it in there, and I've done that before. And take this thing and go like this. That's what we did before we had the fancy hand emulsifier. Mine burnt out and I never bought another one. I just feel like I'm not in that much of a rush to mix stuff. And I don't bake, 
so I just don't have that hand emulsifier. I don't make soups. I basically make dinners. Dinners, lunch. Now let's go ahead and get a clean spoon and then we'll taste it. And if we need to change it, I can see here's my consistency. I like it thick like this. I'm, I'm real good with a thick consistency. But let's go ahead and give it a taste. Wow, that is good.